installing a site-specific public artwork called Love at First Line today at YBCA. Love at First Line is an installation that is in vinyl across the exterior of YBCA. There's vinyl on the corrugated aluminum as well as perforated vinyl on the windows as well as the awning and the entrance into the lobby. All of the vinyl have the first lines of love poems written across centuries in the four different languages of San Francisco, which are English, Spanish, Tagalog, and traditional Chinese. When YBC first approached me to do this artwork, they offered the entire exterior of the building space, which is honestly huge. I've never worked at that scale before. So I searched for the keyword love on the Poetry Foundation's website, and then I had about a thousand related poems to that keyword, and my script pulled all of the first lines of all of those poems. So the piece is called Love at First Line, a play on like the love at first sight concept. Instead of it being this thing where English is the central language and then every translation is a translation of one English text, my hope was that the linguists would pick whichever lines resonated with them and then to take the translation not as literal, but as poetic. I think translation of a poem becomes another poem rather than its translation. So the lines on the building that are in Tagalog are just in Tagalog. The lines that are in English are just in English. Even though obviously they did all start in English, the hopes was to expand and slightly decentralize the focus on that language. Oftentimes when we speak about love, we speak about love and its absence, like what we yearn for, what we miss, or what we've lost. So I think love has this longing to it, and, and longing is of course like a yearning, but then longing is also long, and I think these lines touch both in content and physical structure of what longing is, and just in a way that you can't miss it walking in the gardens, walking on the other side of the street, like you will come face to face with it in some way. Perhaps you won't understand it. Perhaps you'll see the huge lines in Spanish or in Tagalog and you don't speak or read or write those languages and how that's okay, how you don't have to understand a difference to give it space and to appreciate it and to bring that forth into the way you live your life, to be able to lean on the emotional experience rather than the, the logical always. It was important for me to do an audio component. Love at First Line is largely about language. It uses that as a medium and that's what you see. And language is not just written, it's also verbal. And a lot of how we communicate is through the oral. The original people of the San Francisco Peninsula are the Ramatu Shalone, and their language was lost due to colonialization. They only have about 200 of their words recorded. And instead of beginning the oral piece with a land acknowledgement, I wanted it to be more of a language acknowledgement. The loss of land and the loss of language are very interwoven. And when we bring in the languages of Spanish and Tagalog and traditional Chinese, which is spoken as Cantonese, there's also an acknowledgement that these languages are also woven with pain. So to hopefully break away from that binary of good and bad, oppressor and oppressed, but just know that opposites can hold valid truths. And when we hold them together, hopefully we can evolve forward. I tend to think that nothing is possible alone. And that's true for every aspect of this project. Like, the 600 lines that are in Love and First Line in totality are by 600 poets. 
the team of translators. There's an audio aspect to the installation and I'm working with three artists for that part of it. This piece wouldn't be possible without the people who created Python, the programming language, AAA printing company. Right now there's a team of five people outside installing the vinyl. My parents and my friends and my partner and all the people that I've spoken about with this work who've helped it. And I just think it's important to emphasize that Nothing is possible alone and we're all intertwined in the work that we create.